Hi guys, it's Jez from Windows Central here. Today we're looking at Xbox Live's brand new social features, clubs and looking for group. Stay tuned. Okay, so you guys are going to join me in the creation of the Windows Central official club. Now to get to the new clubs menu, you navigate over to community and it's here right on the right side of the dashboard. Now if you click on clubs, you'll boot up a brand new app which helps you discover clubs and all that sort of stuff. It also lists uh, relevant clubs based on your gaming history by the looks of things. As you can see here, you've got tags for the different clubs. Um, you know, advertising the kind of things that people are looking for. Also, we've got emojis, as you can see in this new update, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got kid-friendly content, no swearing, no trash talking. People can make their own tags, of course. We've got an adults-only club here for Overwatch. Uh, there's stuff for Minecraft as well, you know. You can make a club about literally anything, about anything whatsoever. As you see, there's even official Xbox clubs such as the Preview, Xbox Ambassadors, and Major Nelson's got his own special club right there. So yeah, I'm going to create an, my own club for Windows Central over here using this button, like so. Now, you can select what kind of club you want to have. By the looks of things... Um, a public club is anyone can find the club and anyone can ask to join. Uh, I think that's the kind of club we'll make for Windows Central. Um, and private clubs as well. There seems there's also a limit on the amount of clubs you can make. Three for public and private. And then you can make up to 100 hidden clubs. I suppose this is uh, designed for people who want to just make clubs for small groups of friends. Who don't necessarily want to ha uh, handle all the so extra social features and that sort of thing. So let's make a public club for Windows Central. Uh, don't want to call it Club Jezors. Mm, not this time anyway. So let's delete that. So, Windows Central. You're about to create a public club named Windows Central, is that correct? Yes, it is. There's still quite a hefty list of bugs associated with this preview build, as you can see. You can uh, check the, the list. I'll put the link in the description to the full list of bugs that are in this current preview build. But before this, when this rolls out to the public, it'll uh, they'll have fixed most of these, I would expect. So now that we're actually in the club, we can add some tags. So a lot of these tags are specifically set up already. Um, don't think we need to require anything as of right now. Casual uh, will help new players. Yeah, of course we will. New players are welcome. Um, Everyone is welcome. Let's go for that. So, yeah. Um, I think I'll add a description later. Otherwise, this video is going to be very, very long indeed. Now, I was told by Microsoft that people would be able to create their own tags. So, I'm not sure where you do that right now. At the minute, it looks like they've got a set of predefined tags, which is fine, I guess, for the basic sort of stuff. Maybe you do that in the description. No, that's just the text the thing. Um, you can add games that you pl you're going to play. And also, it's picked up some of my recent games. As you can see, it also picks up Win32 games, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah, we play Minecraft at Windows Central, so we're going to add that. Uh, probably not going to add the open beta since it closes down very, very soon. But yeah, you can add whatever games you want. And when you've associated your club with a game, it will appear in the hub for that game. So if I add Minecraft like so, and then go to done. And Minecraft comes up at the bottom here. And you can change this information at any time, I do believe. So also we can select a picture for the group. Let's go with this cool robot here. You can also change the color of the club, so I think we'll go with a nice shade of Windows Central Magenta there. Did that work? Nope. <laughs> Again, this is pretty buggy. 
and we can add a background image. Now, let you add an image from your achievements, which is pretty cool. There's some really good ones out there. Deus Ex achievement pictures aren't very good. Um, let's look for something more specific. Don't have many good screenshots, sadly, so for now, I think I'll just go with this cool screenshot from Mad Max, which is a really underrated game, by the way. So, yeah, that's the Windows Central Club so far. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And there it is. We've got Windows Central Club made and ready to go. So if we click on that now, you can see our tags. I can go back and customize it, add a better screenshot maybe later. You can invite people directly from here. You can unfollow it, unfollow it as well if you're not a member. And if you follow it, you'll be able to view our feed, which has all our clips and everything that we share. Um, also, I have presumably the club's roster. And also, I believe you can have a showcase. At least that's what I was shown at E3. So some of the settings include... Um, who can post to the feed, members only, who can chat, members and admins, who can create parties and looking for group posts. So these are all the permissions that you can set on this club, which is pretty cool. Let people ask to join the club, who can invite people to the club, admins. So yes, yeah. so basically it looks like the hierarchy breaks down between owner, admins and members. And, um, and you can set up who is an admin and who is an owner through this system, no doubt. You can also report players directly from here. And then presumably people will also get reports from other players in the group. It is up to players to moderate these groups. So it is on the players to make sure toxic behavior is weeded out. So yeah, those are clubs basically so far. I think there are still some features missing that are going to come later on, such as the showcase and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, that's basically how it all works for now. Uh, it's a little buggy, but it is preview, and there, are, there is going to be a few weeks before this rolls out more publicly. Now, beyond the clubs feature, we've also got a looking for group feature, which is pretty cool. Now, to access the looking for group uh, features, you have to go to a specific game's game hub. You do this by searching for the game, either in your uh, games and apps list, and then just pressing start on it should give you access to the hub directly from there. But if you're on the dashboard, they do come up over here in the recent list. So let's just have a quick look at the game hub for Overwatch. Now, if you go straight into here, you can navigate over to this looking, this brand new looking for group tag. Uh, there are no one looking for, no one's created tags looking for group for Overwatch yet. So let's try and create one right now. I am looking for, oh, here you can add custom tags. So you can make your own tags as well based around any sort of criteria. Here are some of the ones that Microsoft have already designated, such as cooperative play, play versus play, experienced players only, will help new players and that sort of thing. You can have adults only, all ages, or everyone is welcome as well. There's also some popular tags that other people have made, such as uh, Overwatch, hashtag Overwatch, and hashtag Pizza. Uh, not exactly sure why we've got Pizza there, but okay. Um... And also, you can specify achievements that you're looking for. So, for achievement hunters, these looking for group tools would be very powerful so that players can, you know, get groups for people who are looking for some of the rare achievements. Now, when you've added some tags, so I'm just going to create one now. Trash talking okay, because I get really angry about this game and I want to play uh, competitively, but also casually. And um, I'm going to say everyone is welcome and go to done. So then the tags come up there and then we can add a description. Uh, I'll just, you know, whatever. Just that. Sup. And I am looking for two people to play Overwatch with. And you post that right in there. And there it is, it's come up right underneath the looking for group list. 
Now, if you're the host of this looking for group ad, you see it over here in the guide. It tells you all the people that have um, been interested. You can select the different people that you want to join, and then you instantly press this to send them a notification and pull them into your party straight away. It's very intuitive. It's very simple, and it's going to be very, very useful for games like Elite Dangerous, which don't have robust in-game looking for group features. So it takes some of that responsibility out of the developers hands and microsoft have taken it on themselves so these features will also work across uh, pc with the x with the uh, xbox app for windows 10 they'll also work on ios and android and all these features will just you know work they'll all connect together win32 games are slowly rolling out to the xbox one windows 10 app so for example um you know, these features will probably be cool for World of Warcraft players who are looking for specific types of players to join their guilds. They could use, they could even use Xbox clubs to manage those players as well. A lot of uh, games rely on third party websites to do these sorts of things as of now. But Microsoft are providing these tools for free. Also, party chat for PC gamers. So they'll probably win a whole lot of engagement from doing this. And we'll just have to wait and see how the features grow over time. But yeah, I've been Jez Corden for Windows Central. Thanks a ton for joining me. If you've liked this video, please like it, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.